James Matheson was uh, made famous back in the Channel V days. Loved him and Andrew G on there. Then they were on Idol for a while. Mm. Then James disappeared off the scene for a while. And we wondered, what's James Matheson been doing? And he's popped up as um, he wants to legalise cannabis.org.au. He's representing himself in this party. No, no, I'm not representing myself. I'm representing the party. The party is legalised cannabis. And now why do you want cannabis legalised? Now, you're preaching to the converted. I feel it should have been legalised a long, long, long time ago. Can I just say... 15 years I was on TV, yeah. uh, the project, Australian Idol, Channel V. In that time, not once did I come on the Kyle and Jackie O show. Did you? Did but you? the moment, the moment, oh. <laughs> I'm involved with the Legalised Cannabis Party, Kyle is like, get him on! Yep. Get him on. Get him on. Get him Where's there? Jay? Get, because I agree with this. The reason I went to live in America all those years ago and I spent half the year over there was because of their lax rules on uh, marijuana. I love chuffing. <laughs> I love it. And it's. I don't drink, but I love a chuff. Mm. Are you on the chuff a lot or are you... What are you? So currently you're a criminal for doing that. Like, yeah. It is a crime. For it you is to a crime. That, but know? not in Canberra. They're allowed to smoke until their heart's content. Carl just goes content. for a long drive to Canberra and then That's comes right. back again. So on a Friday night, say, you know, you or some of the crew might... Want to unwind with a whiskey or a bottle of wine, yeah, right? And yeah. they're a legend. You're always a legend for doing that. Yeah, but you right. on a Friday night, if you want to choose to unwind or relax with a joint, you're a criminal. Isn't right? that a, that's, that's, that's beyond my comprehension because so many countries around the world have decriminalised this. Malta, Uruguay, Canada, half of the United States of America have got yeah. on board here. And my interest sort of started when I was working at Channel V. I'd go to festivals, I'd go to concerts. Oh, of course. And I'd see <laughs> kids, you know, 20, 25 going out, having a good time, and get arrested, get harangued, get uh, evicted from the festival, yeah. and get a criminal record for doing something that seemed quite harmless. So that always felt quite unjust to me. But the reality is, for the most part, recently I've seen people use it for medicinal use. And, and it does work really well. And, and a lot of even oils and, and, uh, and different concoctions from the plant for MS, for yeah. epilepsy, for chronic pain, so for PTSD. So what's the why, why is it still illegal? If you're a politician, right, yeah. and you know that this is unjust and it's a waste of taxpayer dollars and it creates a black market that only benefits criminal syndicates, what are you going to do? You're going to say, yeah, we're going to legalise cannabis. Well, what happens to you? Immediately, your political opponent goes, he's soft on drugs. Mm-hmm. Right. He wants so, kids smoking pot. So it's, it's, they're nervous. So you think a lot of people are for this, but they're scared to commit? 100%. Like 40% of Australians have smoked cannabis at some stage that in it? their life. You and know, the rest so are too paranoid to write down the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's millions of Australians who have committed, in inverted commas, a crime, right? Yeah. But we don't have the political will to do it because the optics aren't great for it. But if we look at the research around the world, the sky hasn't fallen in in Colorado, in in Canada, no. and in Mexico. I know? think in California, they actually, when they, they got rid of their state debt because they started to tax it rather than the money going to criminals. So at the moment, the black market is worth somewhere in between 15 and $20 billion. And that money is going... <laughs> that's a lot of weed that's been smoked <laughs> yeah. out there. Criminal organisations, but you tax it, you regulate it, you control it. Yeah. It's not a free-for-all, you know. You, you should be able sure. to go down and buy it from Chemist Warehouse. What do you no, mean it's not no, a free-for-all? Not, oh, no, no, no. You no. can't go to Chemist Warehouse. You, you can't now, but a, should you be able to? No, no you go to no. a dispensary and you've got to make sure you show your ID when you go inside that room. You've got to make sure your details are logged. There's plain packaging. There's no marketing involved. We're not pushing it, but we do that with alcohol. Alcohol is more dangerous, more lethal, sure. more addictive, and more, more toxic, violent. More, more violent. violent. You never see a stoner punching on. Never. They couldn't never. be bothered. Right? So it is less harmful than these compounds that we know have harm, alcohol and tobacco. Yeah. Yet that's the illegal one, right? And so Isn't we're that saying weird? let's have regulation and control. We're not going to push it anywhere. But through responsible use, we can cut down this black market and we can stop ordinary consumers being criminals. What about the amount of money the state government, let's say just for New South Wales, spend on the police to try and stamp this out? Shouldn't they be spending that money elsewhere, getting real criminals off the street? Yeah, so hundreds of million dollars every year on the justice system, on police, on the courts. Jails fill up with people. Your tax dollars are being used to prosecute people consuming something that is, you know, for the most part, quite harmless. It is less harmful than tobacco. And it was less the, harmful the than plant a- made from, from God. And God's made so the plant. So what happens, <clears throat> let's say it became legal. Yeah. 
And uh, obviously, you know, drinking's legal, but you can't drink and drive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With with smoking weed, it, it stays in your system for quite some time. So if they did any kind of drug testing on mm-hmm. you, how do you regulate that side of things? So trust. It's a, tr- it's a trust system, <laughs> right. I feel. Okay. Like trust thing, don't you? Uh, in Tasmania, we've sort of cracked that, you know, and yeah. jurisdictions have, well, have done that. What have they done down there? So the rule is impairment. If you are currently driving, the officer thinks you're impaired, yep. you know, they can take a test. If there's cannabis in your system, then there's a problem. If you're not impaired, like if you are able to follow the basic instructions of the officer, you know, right. then that's yeah, fine. Almost like a so it's like those roadside, roadside tests, tests you'd yeah. see in LA where you can do a breathalyzer or you can do half hey, of those point, things. Points yeah, of the but I can't do half those stand on one leg things at the best of yeah, time. But that's that's your, because that's you're stoned your all the time. Oh, no, no, well, only in the right <laughs> country. But on that, Jackie, the reality is right at the moment, medicinal cannabis is legal, right? Yeah. So you uh-huh. can get a prescription yep. for it, then you can take it. But then if you need to refill the prescription... You can't drive to the chemist for another week if it's in your system. So at least, at the very least, what we want to do at the Legalised Cannabis Party is make sure there is an exemption for people who have medicinal cannabis prescriptions. Well, that's me because I'm a very sick person. What's your... um, Why do you need it? What's your ailment? Oh, I'd have to go back into my <coughs> notes. Anxiety. Yeah, that's it. Bad and my, migraines and, you know, being mm. grossly mm. overweight mm. and just a me- mental case. But the thing is, this is what's happening at the moment anyway, you know. Recreational users are sort of abusing the medicinal system well, to try well, and get That's not there. what I'm doing, James. I'm a very sick man. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we just want to put it on the ballot. We just want to push for a bit of change and I make like this, this conversation mainstream. And I think, I think it's good that you are starting that conversation and pushing that, but how long do you think it will take before we do catch up to these other countries. So it doesn't even take us to get caught up to the other countries. We just have to get laws similar to what they've got in the ACT. And, and what do you, you know? reckon we're, like, how long is that going to take? Could you be Premier and then change it the next day if I'm you want? I'm going to be Premier. You can't be Premier? Why not? You can't be Premier, no. oh, So that's not how it works? No, that's not how So what if everyone voted for the, the legalised cannabis? The political cannabis? vocabulary of this studio, I know. collectively, <laughs> yeah. is very low, yeah, I've got to it say. it totally is. We, we don't, don't even know what the upper house is. We have but no idea. in the upper house in Victoria and yeah. WA, there are already two members of the Legalised Cannabis Party and they're already yeah. pushing for change in those states. So once you can get a few people in the corridors of power, you can start have those conversations, you can start getting your, your hands on the levers of power and create a bit of change. You know, At I the like moment, this. you can advocate like we've been doing from the outside, yeah. but they don't listen to you. So we Did you bring any sample, like instead of handing out um, like flyers, <laughs> do you hand out like joints or what, what is the plan, what's the plan here? Um, no, that would be a leave. That's yeah, illegal. Change the law. Change so the law. Do Lord. that. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we. Oh, I brought in the sniffer dog who's waiting outside. <laughs> <laughs> that it would head straight to your jeans. <laughs> yeah, it would. It would head straight to my. Because you know, I haven't washed these jeans since I was last in Canberra. There you go. <laughs> Thank see? you, Jackie. So we, we don't even have to think that far apart. We do, I don't think we have to think. Oh, make it like Canada. You know, we can start by doing. Do what Canada have they decriminalised everything? In, all drugs in Canada? Is it? I can't remember, but I think. There's a lot of drugs that have been decriminalised. Like cannabis has been legalised there, so you can get it from a dispensary. And I you think don't even have to be on a prescription. You, if you just want to have a chew, if you go and get if it. If you're over 18... It's like buying a packet of cigarettes. Right. That's right, oh. exactly. But even more restrictive than that. You know, you can buy a packet of cigarettes, which will kill you from the service station. You can buy a litre of Jack Daniels, which will kill you from, you know, Jimmy Brings or Dan Murphy's, you know, yeah. but to yeah. do the same for cannabis, you have to go through a licensed dispensary, you have to make sure your ID is shown, you have to have your details recorded, so it's super restrictive. I'm going to start my right. own Uber Eats for cannabis. Oh, I was just about to say, Kyle Brings. Oh. It's gonna, I'm going to do a whole weed delivery. <laughs> oh, sir. no, I got your copyright, Jackie Henderson. <laughs> Kyle and Jackie Bring. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I'll go in on it we'll with you. We'll have 50-50. So you'll go into your polling booth, you'll get the little one, which is the House of Representatives, that's the little card, you know, your number one Oh, we don't whatever. know about all that shit. And then you get the big one, which is like, in essence, for the Senate, for the upper house, and you just put one legalised cannabis above the line. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, I like Labor. I'm normally a Liberal guy, but now this time I like this Labor guy because he's got a lot of great ideas. Right. So, but what happens there? If I like Labor but I also want to get the chuffers on board, what do I do? How do you I fill do the ballot both. out? You can do both. In your lower house one, you go Labor as your local candidate, and then above the line you go one legalised cannabis and then two Labor. Okay, right. This well, is how 
optional preferential voting works, you know. God, oh you my know God, all the there lingo is so and everything. much education I know. To do people, Where do you it? even start with well, us? Yeah, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got, got more chance of getting learn. a couple of stoners on board from this show. I think they all listen to this show. <laughs> um, but, you know, we only need, you know, 4, 5, 6% of people, and we know that already there's about 15% of people across the state. Who Are you getting regularly. a big bus, like a big uh, bong bus together? <laughs> what, what, have you got any plans to advertise? Yeah, the cannabis. We're going to try and get... <laughs> I love the cannabis. I love it. <laughs> Take that to regional Australia. And, you know, it's sort of advocate also for the people who are at the moment. People say, oh, medicinal cannabis is allowed, you know. What do we need to change the laws? The reality is if you have a chronic disease like PTSD or chronic pain or fibromyalgia, then you need to spend probably between three and $500 a month, a month, on oh. your cannabis prescription. That's or something. Expensive. That you could be growing for free in your yard, in your yard to treat your own oh, chronic pain. And you know what? I've got 150 mm. acres of farmland at the Southern Highlands, some of the <laughs> best agricultural ground in the country. Imagine the amount of bloody bush I could grow down there. Mm. Okay, well there would be limits for you <laughs> oh. specifically, but it seems crazy. Imagine you could, you know, <laughs> heal your ailment from something you grow in your garden, but the government says, no, 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 you have to pay $500 a month for the very same thing. And we know it's safe and legal and effective for those people. Sure. Right? For their chronic pain. But if I take it because I want to unwind or I want to relax, yeah. it's suddenly illegal. not safe and effective. Yeah, yeah that's the weird, right? It, the same compound. The same compound. It, it can't that's be, insane. Yeah, that is right? crazy. So we go, oh, yeah. So a doctor can prescribe it. Yes, we know it works. We know it's effective because you've got a bad back or you've got insomnia. Yes, Here my is. doctor up in Byron, right. wonderful doctor. So that's fine. <laughs> and no but I doctors... take it for a different reason because yeah. I want to relax and want yeah. enjoy myself, and listen to a record. And, and, and no doctor's prescribing alcohol or prescribing cigarettes, that's are they? That's true, Brooklyn. That's uh, true. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He yeah. makes a good point. You should get him in your party. Uh, <laughs> no, he's got yeah. a nose like that, though. People think he's lying all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a liar on board, even like the thought of being a liar. <laughs> No, good luck, James. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, I think that I think this is one of the things that most people think the law is nonsensical, right? We understand there should be change, but there's just not the political will or the ability to actually talk about it at a mature adult level. Because yeah. everyone's like, ah, oh, start as in children. It's like yeah. once well, this it's is a gateway drug and all that bullshit. 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 You know why it's a, you know why people say it's a gateway drug? Right. You know. Because if you have to buy it illegally, guess who you're buying from? A, a, a dodgy mm. dealer. Yeah, and guess what else he's got access to? Cocaine. Yes. They're also... And I don't like cocaine. I like the smell of it, but the, I don't like the... Uh, drug the dealers have access to all sorts of other stuff. If you've got a licensed, regulated distributor... That's what all they, they got, sell. That's all they've got. If they, they can't even spread the word about anything I else, told Jackie, they lose James, their license. I told Jackie that in Los Angeles, I fly to L.A., I go straight, the car picks me up, I drive straight to the dispensary before I even go home mm-hmm. and I stock up on all the greatest new chuff and there's a, like, it's like the, it's like the Apple iStore. store. There's all like Apple geniuses type of people in there, but they're weed geniuses mm-hmm. and you just look at it all and you go, oh, what, what's that one? I want the Jamaican high, I want this and off you go and by the time you're home, you're so off your head, you go to sleep for two days. Okay, that's, that's the way to travel. Probably not how I want to sell the message. Yeah. But, oh, how do you want to sell you it? You talk about gateway. Yeah. Talk about gateway. I mean, how often have you had cannabis and then afterwards gone, oh, I need to get on something harder? Never. You go, Never. oh, I need to order Uber Eats. Yeah. That's the gateway. <laughs> Straight to Domino. But how crazy. many times have you been out with people on booze or alcohol, yeah. and they're like six schooners deep, and they're like, oh, let's get on the bags. Oh, you know? well, That's yeah, the gateway often. drug. Yeah, you're right. Alcohol is the gateway drug. You make a very good point. You know That's what? This, so true. I've always liked James, yeah. but the, uh, the reason we've never hung out is he's super intelligent, and I'm, I'm, I, what you see is what you get from me. Like, I don't yeah. have any intelligence. You've got all the big words. You've got all the facts. <laughs> yeah, he makes good points. Uh, you've now got my vote. Yes, that's what we're after. I'm, I'm going to vote for legalising cannabis because it's long overdue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we just want people to start having a grown-up conversation about it. I mean, this discussion's important, right? Yeah. But also so is evidence. And look at the evidence around the world. And the evidence points to this can be consumed safely and responsibly, just like alcohol. And once it's legalised, here's the reality. It gets boring. It's so boring that, you know... Oh, bring on the boredom, I say. <laughs> and people move on from it. Yeah. Like, there's this stigma, there's this propaganda, you know. There's I agree. this scaremongering around it for so long. And yeah. when, I mean, in it, in it, it's weird because the Americans, right, it, it was all so, oh, drugs, 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 and now it's been legalised for so long, you realise everyone from Jad, Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston, all, all these big stars you've idolised your whole life... Mm. 
They're all on the chuff, these people. Yeah, well, it's just like they enjoy uh, red wine. To apologise you know? about the intelligence, he seems to reboot that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, but you're talking about people who, you know, drink three or four times a week. Sure. Now, that doesn't impede their ability to succeed or have a family True. or have a successful career, you know. And you yourself are a great example. You know, you enjoy cannabis, but it hasn't affected your ability to have this multi million dollar media empire and it's true it's actually helped it i feel <laughs> jackie you should get on the truth if yeah, you want no, to. No, don't do that jackie <laughs> haven't, you, haven't you gone down some sort of clean lifestyle isn't that what yep. you're doing now yep. yeah yeah sure. I'm I'm it's been three weeks in all honesty well, i've got a book for you i've got a book for you, oh, you got to bring it. yes because you are i think i read you're starting to meditate yep. as well oh my god she stopped Once that you... because an ant bit her on the vagina flap um, <laughs> when she was up on the mountain <laughs> looking at well, that's yeah. when you can really focus. Once yeah. you've got a, a, an ant bite on the giant flap. Yeah, it's yeah. all about has the, that. Has the wealth the gone down on the... Yeah, flat? it's all no. gone now. Because it's all it's welted fine. up for a while. <laughs> but you have opened a portal here, Jackie. Yeah. You know, you've got success, you've got fame, you've got acclaim, and now you're like, oh, what else, what else? And you have got a pathway here to go, oh, my God, there is something even more extraordinary than all of that. Yeah. The yeah. wacky Jackie tobacco. Yeah. No! Talking about, I'm oh, talking oh. about like through meditation. Yes, you can go and access something that is Thank inside you, of the soul. What's Jesus, this book? What's hey? the book? Uh, it's you called can... The Untethered Soul. Yep. That yeah. sounds like something that some sort of evangelist is but selling. Is it, don't you, you know there are some moments, if you can drop into meditation, where you can access something, you're like, phew, yeah. that was like deep and powerful, right? Yep. Never and you can take, of course it hasn't, because you're running at a million miles an hour all the time. Yeah, there's no, and you've there's got, no relaxing. No, no. I've got to force myself to relax using... Cannabis. <laughs> That's forces. You guys are like a yin and a yang. But I'm seriously, I'll send you the book, Jackie. But Thanks, like, James. here's the idea. Like, you've got all that, and what happened? You went. Huh, that's not it, you know? And this this is, I feel like, what happened with me. Like, we had success with Idol. We got money from Idol, you know? Yeah. It got all of this stuff, and I was like, huh, that's not it. Yeah. It's not it. You know, you go, what next? What's next? And we're told that our whole lives. Oh, if you get fame, oh, if you get money, oh, if you get a claim, yeah. then you'll be happy. Then you'll be like, but yes. That's, that's not it. the answer, no. is it? That's not the answer. Cannabis is the answer, is what you're saying, James. <laughs> I'm saying well, I that Jackie is, like, on the precipice, I think, of, like, diving deep into going, ah, oh, there's actually something so divine and so extraordinary that is inside me at every given moment. How many of these meditations have you done, Jackie? Sounds like he's... Yeah, quite a lot. I love what you're saying, James. But you know it's true. Because here's the thing. There's one one or two things happens, right? We fall into the trap that, oh, if we just get a bit more money, oh, if I just get that girl, oh, if I just get that car, then I'll be happy. But guess what? The people who've had it all, like you, like me, they are the great templates because they go, oh, it's, it's not it. It's yeah. not, it's, it's not doesn't satisfy not that it. no. itch. It's still not it. So we go, ah, oh, what else is there? We go religion. We look at religion and it's served up all this tosh, all yeah. this nonsense to us. So we go, oh, it's not over there. But somewhere in between those two, not religion, but through connecting to yourself. And meditation is a great way to do it. There's a few other ways to do it, and some people do it through cannabis as well. You know, some Are you going to pass through... the joint around or just talk? Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to pass I'm the joint so around. I'm you, why would you, you get me in at 9.50. I'm, so like, I'm in the death hour. Wake and bake, don't brother. Wake I don't and know bake. how radio works. <laughs> this like, isn't the death hour. Even at 9.50. This isn't the death hour. That's how you famous brothers. We're running late. We shouldn't be running This, this is not late. the death hour. But... The reality is, like, this is, you know, and, and this is for all people who are out there, because when you don't have fame, money, success, you still think that's the answer. And the reality is, if you've had those things, you get a unique opportunity to go, huh, that isn't it. But there is something else. I promise you there is something else. So, yeah, let's, let's Thanks, talk more about James. that. But in I the meantime, yeah. vote one, legalise cannabis above the line. I hope you do well. I yeah. really do, because I believe in this. Co- and you're a, you're a good guy. Mm. You're a smart guy. Yeah. And you're right, we haven't spent much time. We were we, together. And we years, won't, and we won't. Like, no, this, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but because no, you're doing your start. thing and I'm doing... Yeah, like, yeah. I don't have any visitors. But I don't want anyone coming around. But I'm the same. I don't, I don't like watch, anyone. I don't watch TV. I don't oh, what? You're not watching Idol? No. Get the hell out of here. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but is, how it. is it good? Have you missed me? I mean, Scott I, Tweedy is a handsome man. He's a handsome oh man. God. He is a yeah. handsome man. But then yeah. there's Ricky Lee's there. Yeah, and, it's all good. But it's a bit different than the old days. Do you oh, we miss brought me? Marsha back. I do miss you. Yeah. You're always good. And that Andrew guy, he seems to have gone on and done very well. Is he on the weed? Oh, no. Probably not. No wonder he's a mess. No wonder he's a mess. His hair's <laughs> gone white. He's a... 
<laughs> is, he, is he non-binary now? He's non-binary, oh, no, isn't he? No, no, no. It was a, quite an experience oh. to work with Kyle because, yes, it was always great respect and great admiration, but we were always like, yeah, we were quite different people. You're very private. You just want to be up on your hilltop, you know. That's doing right. what we do. And yeah. I was the same. I just wanted mm. to do the work. Go home. But did you did you ever know that Mark and I would sneak out and get ripped uh, on the stairwell when we were doing auditions? I wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Have I, I probably told you that story that last episode of the last season of Australian no. Idol? I watch, as I'm getting into my car, Kyle Sanderlands take the complimentary TV that is oh. in his oh. green room yeah, that's yeah. Right. and put it into the back of his four-wheel drive. That does not belong to him. I know, okay. A sponsor's product. I'm like, this guy's worth so <laughs> yeah. much money yeah. and he's stealing a flat-screen TV. How do you think I'm worth all this coin? Yeah. Because yeah. I also loot as I go. <laughs> he does loot. James, good luck. We've got to go. Thanks, uh, if you James. want to find out more, head to legalisecannabis.org.au. Um, and use your voting power for the good of stoners all around the New South Wales. Yeah, yeah. and for many people, like they think it's a fringe issue, but it's not. It's not. This, is a, this is a moral issue. It's a human rights issue for people who can't access it, who need it for their life. I agree. And also it's a justice issue, you know. This is unjust that I should be a criminal when you're a legend, when you're... Down Thank in, you. you know, eight Bacardi and Breezes. <laughs> Is that what yeah. you drink? I don't know. Do they drink oh, them? I don't, I don't know. Do Seltzers? What? Seltzers? Yeah. Aperol Spritz. You're not even saying it right, Jackie. Am I not? I don't think. Salsas, isn't it? No, the, the, the dip and chip. No, no. no. I don't should, know. They should ban Aperol spritzes and legalise cannabis. Yeah. So that's, that, yeah. That would cannabis be spritzes. I'm writing that down. <laughs> that's mine. You're not having any of that. Thank you, James. Nice Thanks, to see you. Thanks, James. guys. James Matheson, if you want to check it out, legalisecannabis.org.au, everyone. And it's chaos this morning at Gold Coast Airport because